I noticed there's dot coms and then there's also like dot WTF. So WTF, what's the difference? <laughs> you can think of a domain name like having a an online piece of real estate. Why does it cost so no. Why does this cost so much? Have you ever thought about buying a domain and then notice some of them cost a dollar and some of them cost a lot more? And you wondered, why is that? Well, you're in luck. We're gonna talk about that today and more. And today, I'm super excited to be joined with my co-host, Justin Neely. What's up? How what are you up? doing? Good to see you again. Phenomenal, glad to be here. So I know you got a lot of questions for me and I'll let you just lay them on me. So first and foremost, uh, I think about cost and why is it there's such a range? I noticed that recently. You know, something maybe a dollar to thousands. Like, why is there this range when it comes to cost for a domain? There are a lot of potential reasons why. So, if nobody owns the domain name yet, you can get a, a domain like a dot com for anywhere from, anywhere from like a dollar to about twenty dollars, just depending. Oh. And then if somebody owns a domain name, which that's those thousand dollars that you see, they're essentially reselling it. It's, you can think of a domain name like having a an online piece of real estate, mm. right? So it's they're selling that it. off and they're selling off that name that's yeah. been around for a while, that's yeah. super unique, uh, and that can potentially get you business just by having that domain. Okay, and then another thing I noticed, I was so excited to talk with you, so I started just researching all this. I noticed there's dot coms and then there's also like dot coffee or dot WTF. So, WTF, what's the difference? <laughs> like, why are there these differences? <laughs> there, so when the internet first began, we had just a couple different variations like the .com, net, info, things like that. Those are just TLDs or top level domains. And then we have what's called CCTLDs, which are country code top level domains. That's like a .co.uk or .au for Australia to really have a localized presence. And then those new ones that just released not too long ago, and there's a lot more releasing in, as we speak. Uh, those are GTLDs, generic top level domains. So that's the .coffee, .wiki, .ninja, .guru, .wtf, .singles. There's a plethora of names. And it was really established because all the good .coms are being taken, right? Which is where that online real estate comes in. Because if you have right. a great .com domain name, you could sell it for thousands of dollars. So it wants to be, you want it to be short and sweet though, right? Absolutely. It goes back to the radio test. If you got that 10 second ad spot on the radio and that's all you can really convey is that domain name, is it catchy and would someone remember it? Is it easy to spell? If you have crazy cool spellings with a K for the crazy, it may not work. And same thing goes with word of mouth. If you can't tell me what your domain name is really quick, I can't go back and find you super quick, it's, it's not gonna work out. But I out. imagine that's hard at this point in the game. There's so many domain names. Right. Like how, I imagine it's pushing us to the longer domain names and length because there's so many out there. Yeah, in, in a way, I mean, some things to avoid with your domain name. You wanna make sure that you don't have hyphens because that's just Why? annoying. Like, cool, go to my website. It's this-awesome-website-com. Com uh, dash okay. all the dashes right yeah um, or having numbers in it like if I tell you to go to go to one coffeeshop.com you might type in O N E or the number one oh, versus the numeral or yeah. W O N potentially it's it's confusing yeah right and the attention spans they're just getting shorter right <laughs> millennials can attest yeah. <laughs> So with, with your domain name, those, those ones that are super short and sweet, they're brandable, they're, they're for the most part worth what, what the cost is. So those couple thousand dollars, it's, it's really an investment in your business. And especially if it's your business name that .com has taken, mm -hmm. it might be a good idea to, to spend a little bit of cash and make sure you get that. As we're talking about domain names, I started to think, well, where do I, where do I go to get this? Where do I go to purchase a domain name? Well, glad you asked. No, so you can go to any domain registrar, like GoDaddy is a domain registrar, which means you can go and purchase your domain name. So, but with domain names, you don't just purchase it once and done. You actually have to essentially lease the domain. It's still yours, but you have to mm -hmm. renew it every year. Now, most domains you can buy anywhere from one year to 10 years, but there are some domains with some restrictions. So you really wanna check out, out uh, 
those options. Wait, why would that be? How come it's not just consistent across the board? So to kind of go a little bit deeper, there are registrants, registrars, and registries. Us purchasing domain names, mm -hmm. we're registrants. Okay. Then registrars are like GoDaddy, they basically yeah. are a vendor supplying domains. And we have registries which control a .com. So VeriSign controls .com, then you have other registries that control different domains. There's a donuts registry that controls a lot of the new unique ones, and they set their own rules. So it, we're pretty much at their mercy, if you will. Right. Okay, so I have another question for you, and that is how do you protect your domain name? I mean, do you need to go and put yourself on the .net, the .com, in order to protect it? Right, it's really protecting your brand. If you just blow up and become this big success, like I hope you will, you want to get the alternate endings, the next best. That way people aren't trying to just steal your traffic or potentially your competitors getting that domain name. I've seen it happen, they'll get the .net and steal Ooh. your traffic, steal your attention and potentially slander you. Cool. It's a dog eat dog <laughs> world out there. It's pretty rough, no pun intended. <laughs> And what you can do, most registrars like GoDaddy has an extra value added service to protect your registration. So it'll protect it from hijacking, protect it if you forget to renew your domain, that happens all the time, especially if you buy it for five years out, are you gonna remember in five years? Sometimes not, credit cards expire. So mm -hmm. there's that added protection that you can get just to make sure that your domain is always yours. All right, that's a wrap. First, I want to give a huge shout out and a thank you to Justin. Thanks for having me. The king of domains. If you want more info like that and you have questions, definitely comment below and be sure to subscribe to our channel. Thanks, see you soon.